Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to discuss design of helical reinforcement in circular columns. And um, if you want to check design of rectangular columns, please check my previous video. And so let's come back to this. Helical reinforcement is provided in circular columns. What happens is um, the longitudinal bars or the main steel of the column is tied with spirals called as helical ties and the biggest advantage of providing helical ties is that it increases the load carrying capacity of the column because there is a confinement of concrete because of the spirals and uh, another advantage is that it gives a great amount of ductility to the column and uh, because of which uh, there is less chances of sudden failure so IS code gives a provision in clause number 39.4 it says that if you're designing your column with uh, helical ties, you have to increase its strength by 5%. So for a rectangular column, we take the strength as PU, that is 0.4 FCK AC plus 0.67 FY ASC, where ASC is the area of steel, AC is the area of concrete, and PU is the design strength. So while you're designing it, with a helical reinforcement you have to multiply this by 1.05 because it increases the strength of the concrete of the column by 5% it is given in the IS code so and the condition is that a ratio that is volume of helical reinforcement and volume of core should be greater than or equal to 0.36 AG over AK minus 1 FCK over FY so I'll, uh, I'll go through all these in detail what is the volume of helical reinforcement volume of core what is AG AK before going through all this I'll sh okay I'll give you the formulas volume of helical reinforcement is pi DK ASH and volume of core is AK into S and uh, now I'll tell you what what are these DK, ASH and AK. DK is the diameter of core. ASH is the area of area of cross section of the spiral. AK is the area of core and S is the pitch. I'll tell you what is this. AG is the gross area of the column and again AK is area of core. To explain all of this I'll show you the diagram of uh, circular column. So here it is what it looks like in the plan and this is the section so I'll show you what is DK. DK is the diameter of the core which is measured up to the outside outside of the helix that is the outside of the spiral. So to get DK you can deduct from the diameter the entire diameter of the column you can deduct the clear cover that is E and E which is minus 2E that is DK and um, you can see the section these are the helical reinforcement it goes around the column and this is the pitch that is the distance between the two helical ties and this is the clear cover and these are the main bars So now let's check the design con considerations uh, while designing the helical ties. So again we have to uh, take into consideration two things that is diameter and the pitch. Same what we did for rectangular columns and the IS code says that the diameter of the helical reinforcement should be one fourth of the diameter of the largest main bar and 5 mm. So these are the two values, these are the two conditions and um, it should not be less than any of these two. and for pitch there are two conditions and that is one is maximum max, maximum condition and the other one is minimum condition for maximum condi con condition that is the first thing is 75 mm and the other is 1 6 of the core diameter that is 1 6 of dk and for the minimum there are again two conditions that is 25 mm and the second one is three times the diameter of the helical bar so you'll by finding out these two you will get a, a range you have to select any number between 
that range to get the pitch and that will be a s i hope uh, you understood what i explained earlier and um, let's start off with the problem you have been given design helical reinforcement for a column of 450 mm diameter it is reinforced with 620 mm dia bars so the diameter is 450 mm see if you want to check design of uh, columns please check my previous video it shows how to calculate the diameter or the size of the column and how to calculate the area of steel and the number of bars so let's start off with the helical reinforcement design the first step would be diameter of helix that is phi sh okay the so the first case is it should be 1/4 the diameter of the smallest longitudinal bar so all the bars are 20 mm so 1/4 of 20 is 5 mm the second case it says it should be 5 mm and um, so take a value greater than 5 mm so let's provide 8 mm okay so the second case is sorry the second design consideration is pitch okay so in this in this there are two cases the first is the maximum case and the other is minimum case for the maximum case that is case 1 that is first condition that is 75 mm the second condition is it is 1/6 the core diameter i have already told you the core diameter is measured up to the outside of the outside of the uh, spiral so for dk what we have to do is d minus 2 into e the diameter is 450 minus 2 into clear cover that is 40 mm so we get 370 mm if i put this here we get 61.67 mm okay so the case 2 that is the minimum case is first is 25 mm the second condition is 3 into dia of the helix that is 3 times 8 mm that is 24 mm the third condition is okay there are two conditions so the range is in between 61.67 mm and 24 mm so take anything in between these two numbers so i'll take pitch that is s is equal to 40 mm okay so for calculating the ratio that is volume of uh, helical reinforcement and the volume of core we need something that is dk which we have already got ash ag ak okay that's it so what is ash that is the area of the helical reinforcement that would be pi by 4 phi sh square that is the diameter of the spiral pi by 4 into we had taken 8 mm so 8 square that gives me 56.26 mm square now the formula for volume of helix is volume of helix equals pi dk ash that is pi into 370 into 56.26 that is 65396.02 mm square now the other thing is volume of core for volume of core you need area of the core the area of core so as we have seen in the diagram this was the column and the this is the dk so the area of core would be this portion and from this portion you have to deduct the area of main steel okay so the area of core would be pi by 4 dk square for this entire circle minus asc okay what would be asc 6 times into pi by 4 into 20 square because we have we are providing 6 bars 
फाइव बाई फोर इन टू डी के इज थ्री सेवेंटी स्क्वायर माइनस वन एट एट फोर इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस विल गेट वन एट एट फोर विच इज वन जीरो फाइव सिक्स थ्री सेवन एम एम स्क्वायर नाउ वॉल्यूम ऑफ कोर इज ए के इन टू एस सो वी टुक पिच एज फोर्टी एम एम एंड ए के इज वन जीरो फाइव सिक्स थ्री सेवन इंटू फोर्टी दैट इज फोर टू टू Now we have the ratio of volume of helix and the volume of core. We can simply calculate it. pH is six five three nine six over VK. That is volume of core is four two two five four eight zero. So that is zero point zero one five. Now this should be greater than zero point three six. A G over A K, F C K over F Y. A G is the gross cross-sectional area, so 0.36 into A G. That is A G is equal to pi by 4 into 450 square. That is 159043 over the area of core. That we calculated here, one zero five six three seven minus one. FCK is twenty and FY is four one five. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that uh, the grade of concrete is twenty and M twenty and the grade of steel is FE four one five. So if you solve this, you get zero point zero zero eight seven, which is clearly less than zero point zero one five. If all these go right your design is perfect so finally you have to draw the diagram which i showed you earlier i'll show you again so this is the plan these are the main bars six bars of 20 mm diameter and this entire thing is the diameter d and um, for the helix that is 8 mm dia helix and this is the pitch we took as 40 mm Okay, and this is the clear cover which took which we took 40 mm. Okay, that's all with the design of helix. I hope you understood the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section. And um, please let me know if you want to uh, if you want me to post more videos about design of reinforced structures. Thank you so much. Bye.